Hi everyone and welcome back. It was another breezy day, but take a look at this. That is not a sensor error. It's not a typo. There was a wind gust of 77 miles per hour at the Grand Forks Airport at 1224 AM as a severe thunderstorm rolled through parts of the Northern Valley with the peak gust of 77 miles per hour, 59 mile per hour gust associated with storms overnight as well in Crookston, 39 miles per hour, the peak gust this afternoon here in Fargo. Now, even though it was a breezy day, the winds are starting to diminish here in Fargo. Wind is out of the north at 15 miles per hour, so still a little breezy. 61 degrees Moorhead currently at 59. Meanwhile, Grand Forks 62 winds much lighter out of the north at 15 miles per hour. Temperatures around the region more and more falling into the 50s now. 59 in Fergus Falls, Oaks, Jamestown, Howlock, 55 in Roseau, 54 the cool spot right now in Langdon. Looking at satellite and radar, we're seeing some clearer skies in parts of northeastern North Dakota, and that's where temperatures are going to be dipping the fastest and dipping first. Meanwhile, Southern Valley and points off to the east through Lakes Country all the way up into Beltrami County. That's where we're still seeing some scattered showers and even a few lightning strikes. Those are just now exiting to the east of our viewing area. All rain shower activity is going to be diminishing here over the next two to three hours. And then we're expecting a pretty clear night. The first half of the night expecting some breezy winds that's going to continue to pull in more wildfire smoke from Canada. So we're still expecting a smoky, hazy night ahead of us with these clear skies. Then heading into tomorrow morning with the smoke, there may be areas of reduced visibility. So just a heads up for that tomorrow morning commute, maybe a little uh, hazy for your drive. A few clouds off to the east, but generally we're going to be sunny heading into the afternoon hours. A little bit of a north breeze into the afternoon, mostly for northwestern Minnesota and temperatures again in the 60s and 70s. So a little warmer than we were for this afternoon, but still a little bit below our seasonal average. Another look at that wildfire smoke and air quality index now still seeing more red than we would like, still seeing unhealthy air for a lot of groups. And it's thanks to this plume of smoke right here. That's going to be with us through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. So again, there may be some areas of reduced visibility. Good news, expecting some improvements in our air quality in less near surface smoke as we head into the latter part of our day. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, this is during the five o'clock hour. Lots of 60s, a few in the low 70s with more plentiful sunshine than what we saw today. Warming up slightly heading into the weekend after a crisp morning on Thursday. Widespread temperatures in the 40s, maybe a few more in the upper 30s than what we're expecting tomorrow morning. 81 Friday, that's going to be the warmest day of the forecast. That with showers on Saturday, that cools us back down into the 70s. And that's about where we stay for the extended forecast that gets us already into the middle of September. These uh, next 11 days, pretty seasonal, pretty uh, fall like yeah. today felt very cool, but there's more seasonable temperatures there. Yes. Still cooler than we saw, but right and more sun that always helps. That too. helps that a does. lot. Thanks, Summer. Well, more nationwide flight disruptions today impacting flights locally. Those details are next.